Hey there, welcome back to Flat Tire Farm. We're a 40 acre off grid homestead in Alaska. And today's video is about how and why we bonded this baby goose and this baby goat. It all started about two months ago when our geese were laying lots of eggs and in our ready fire aim style, we decided, hey, let's try to hatch these guys. So we collected this clutch of 10 geese eggs. We put them in an incubator. After a couple weeks, we candled them. Some were duds, some were not. And we ended up with six eggs that had developing goslings inside. Each day we religiously turned the eggs and kept them at 90 degrees, but only one of them hatched. Oh my gosh, honey. Come, Come on, on buddy. Little buddy. You can do it. This is little Eglantine. Because she had no other little goslings to be friends with and no mama goose, I became, well, I guess, mother goose. So she's pretty bonded to me and to Mr. Reeve. Now, if you don't know, we live off grid and we use this tiny solar system. We use less power in an hour than if you had vacuumed or blow dried your hair. <laughs> now, because Eglantine had just been born, she needed us to keep her at 90 degrees, which means we needed to use a heat lamp. And even though here in Alaska, we're getting lots of sunlight, like 19 hours a day right now, our solar system is so small that running the heat lamp for 24 hours meant that we were running the generator every day. Now, that's a lot of fuel for one little goose, but I did find a creative solution. <laughs> Atlantine's coming to work with me. <laughs> that way I can plug the heat lamp in there, bring her little setup to the office in. She won't be lonely. But then a problem two arose. We thought we had five pregnant does, but we only had one. So only two babies were born. Now two baby goats is not a problem, except that we had already promised one of them to Musher Becky. Now Musher Becky had an Angora bottle baby because that baby's mom rejected her. And so that goat baby was all by itself. And well, if you didn't know goat babies, they don't really do so well by themselves. They're a herd animal. They need another one, which is why I never sell babies just single unless you already have another bottle baby like Musher Becky does. Now, originally, like I said, we'd planned to have lots of babies because we thought we had five pregnant does. So letting Musher Becky have one of our only two babies solves Musher Becky's problem. But then that creates a problem for us because that left, well, little Daisy all by herself. So I had a diabolical idea. What if I bonded a lonely baby goose that needed to stay warm with a lonely baby goat that needed a friend? Well, didn't start out that great. The baby goats were just two days old here and Eglantine was 10 days old. Now two day old baby goats, they're very calm and very accepting, but a 10 day old goose, not so excited about it. <laughs> I put Eglantine in a big dog kennel with the goats for about an hour at a time for a day or so. And she settled in every once in a while, probably to snuggle up and get warm. But as soon as the goats moved, she squawked and got upset. <whistles> Mr. Reeve and I spent lots of play time and snuggle time with all the little animals together because we're their mutual safe place. So they got a little acclimated to one another. <whistles> Get my beard <laughs> trimmed a little bit. <laughs> that tickles, girl. Ow, that's my ear. <laughs> not nice. Yeah, you tell her, buddy. You tell her that's not nice. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Did I mention no pooping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to headbutt me? <laughs> This is what they mean when they say gooseneck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, go. Look, she's gonna protect me. I see that. Oh. See this? Nope, never mind. She's gonna it's join in. It's a tag in. team opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I can cry. 
girl snuggling? Yeah. Oh, good girls. Now Eglantine got better over time, but she always was a little skittish, and I think that was because that first week of her life, she didn't have any friends, she didn't have any chaos, she didn't have any commotion. You know, baby goats are always hopping around and moving, and she just wasn't used to that yet. So I had another bright idea. I took them all to my office where there is tons of chaos and commotion all the time. Now at this point, everyone was getting along really well and everybody was doing much better, but the final test was coming because the little baby boy goat was ready to go to Muster Becky's. And he consequently ended up with a really cute name that fits our little experiment. Oh my goodness. We call her Silly because she's very silly. And so his name is Goose, so I have Silly Goose. There you are. <laughs> Now the transition went pretty well. Eglantine and Daisy started sleeping in the kennel together at night, which meant no more heat lamp for Eglantine, so that was great. Are you guys best buddies in there? Yeah. Are you snuggle buddies? Now we did still have the everyday issues. You know, the ones that everyone has because everybody raises farm animals inside their house. You know, those problems. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Dad's trying to clean out your kennel. Yeah? Yeah, come look at what she did to my shoe. Oh. Okay. Yeah. She peed in your shoe? She peed in my shoe. You still want more goats? Yeah. Okay. It's the beginning of June here, so it finally started warming up to about 50 degrees during the day. We took the babies outside and we even got them acclimated to the berries. Holly and Juniper are livestock guardian dogs. Are you nice with the babies? Yes, you are. Are you girls gonna babysit the babies for a little bit? Yeah? You babysit the babies while I go get Daisy a bottle? Okay. You be good girls. Let's see how she's doing out there. So far, so good. Do you love that baby or just her milk, huh? What do you think of your first outing? Uh -huh. You like the grass? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, do you love your friends? Yeah, you love your friends, Holly? Yeah, you're a good girl. Well, come on, girl. What do you think, grass? Yeah. Now periodically we'll keep you updated on how these babies are doing together. As always, thanks for joining us on Flat Tire Farm. We'll catch you on the next video, guys.